Hello, today's NICU nugget is on two vessel cords or single umbilical arteries. Normally, fetuses or babies have three vessel cords with two arteries and a vein. Remember that by thinking Ava has an umbilical cord, A V A. Sometimes babies are born with a two vessel cord. By definition, it's always the vein and a single umbilical artery. The reason for that is that it's the mother's placenta or the mother and the mother's placenta gives the baby its nutrition and oxygen through the umbilical vein. So if the umbilical vein didn't form, then that fetus wouldn't survive. So we pretty much use the terms single umbilical artery and two vessel cord interchangeably. Now, having a two vessel cord increases your risk of having other anomalies, having genetic issues, having cardiac issues, and most commonly having kidney issues or renal problems. So what do you do if you are in the newborn nursery and you happen to find a baby through your excellent exam that a baby has a two vessel cord? What do you do next? Obviously, you continue your exam, and if you spot any other anomalies, then at that point, you should probably be going for a more extensive workup, probably including some sort of genetic testing. If you only find the two vessel cord and the rest of your excellent exam is normal, look back better through the mother's chart and see if they knew about the two vessel cord prenatally. If they knew about the two vessel cord prenatally, the OB spotted it, then the OB probably also had a really very good look at the heart and the lungs and the rest of the baby's anatomy. So you probably wouldn't gain anything by doing further imaging after the baby was born. If, however, the baby has a two vessel cord and it was not spotted prenatally, or the mother just had really poor prenatal care, never got an ultrasound or whatever done, then it would be worth at least considering getting a renal ultrasound because we do know that there are increased risk of renal anomalies with a two vessel cord. So I hope you learned something today about two vessel cords. If you are interested in learning more about NICU stuff, then please remember to subscribe. Thank you.